Joe Biden has made serious attempts to rebuild the bridge burned between the U.S. and France over the AUKUS row. Here is the U.S. President's remarkable statement after a fence-mending phone call with French President Emmanuel Macron. U.S. President Joe Biden moved to cool tensions in a highly anticipated phone call with Francis Emmanuel Macron on Wednesday. The move comes after the AUKUS security pact, between Australia, the UK and US, erupted in a major diplomatic row with the French, who lost out on a multi-billion euro deal with Australia as a result of the deal. The phone call ended a week-long standoff between the leaders, during which France recalled its ambassador to the US. A joint statement issued after the call shows President Biden extending an olive branch, promising not to do any more deals behind Paris back, as well as providing additional aid to the French-led anti-terrorist operations in the Sahel. Experts have said the statement was remarkably conciliatory on the American side, including a commitment from Mr. Biden to travel to Europe in October to meet with President Macron. However, no official apology was included, nor any practical remedy. AUKUS will still go ahead as planned. President Emmanuel Macron of the French Republic and President Joe Biden of the United States of America spoke on September 22, at the request of the latter, in order to discuss the implications of the announcement on September 15. The two leaders agreed that the situation would have benefited from open consultations among allies on matters of strategic interest to France and our European partners. President Biden conveyed his ongoing commitment in that regard. The two leaders have decided to open a process of in-depth consultations, aimed at creating the conditions for ensuring confidence and proposing concrete measures toward common objectives. They will meet in Europe at the end of October in order to reach shared understandings and maintain momentum in this process. President Emmanuel Macron has decided that the French ambassador will return to Washington next week. He will then start intensive work with senior U.S. officials.